In today's video, we are taking a look at uh, this tome here. This is the Marvel Horror Omnibus, which came out not too long ago. We're going to be talking about if this gem is worth it to add to your collection, just in time for the Halloween season. Right here, right now, coming at you. So here it is, the full review of the Marvel Horror Omnibus. Is it worth it to add to your collection? Uh, the short answer of it is yes. This is definitely worth it to add to your collection, especially if you are a Marvel Horror fan or just a horror fan in general, uh, but also if you are a huge fan of the Bronze Age of comics. What people don't understand is uh, horror comics played a huge, huge role in um, the Bronze Age of comics. People associate the Bronze Age of comics with superheroes, but horror books were also very, very popular because if you know your comic book history, the comics code actually was relaxed a little bit in the 1970s and then that's when publishers returned to horror comics, uh, which were great. Uh, so this book here is probably one of the thickest omnibuses I've ever seen. <laughs> I have a few omnibuses in my collection and I think this is the thickest one I have. Let's see if, uh, if we know how many pages this is. Uh, do, 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 do. do we have page numbers here? Yes, we do at the bottom. Let's go to the very last page. Okay, so of actual story content we have put it up here for you 1323 pages <laughs> 1323 pages george rr R. martin eat your heart out <laughs> like that that's a huge book very very big book now the price of this book here is uh I'll just show you back here so we have 150 us dollars listed and uh, 190 Canadian. Uh, from what I recall, this was a gift for me, but I do not think my wife spent this much on this book. Uh, this was actually an anniversary gift, uh, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Again, uh, for this book, if you're interested in picking this up today, the there will be a link in the description. Highly recommend this. Uh, but yeah, here, I'll just kind of flip in here and just show you what we have uh, because this is a nice, a nice assortment of uh, different books. Sorry, I just hit the camera there. So as you see, uh, we have the zombie, we have Brother Voodoo, It the Living Colossus, the Living Mummy, Gabriel the Devil Hunter, the Golem. I love the Golem actually. And this isn't Golem, uh, golem um, that you're thinking of. This is a, a different one. The Scarecrow, um, Modred the Mystic. We got more of the more of the zombie brother voodoo uh just so many different different horror books here uh and then of course we have these these are these uh oversized um magazine um books that marvel sold back in the time these are a lot more uh mature and uh more gruesome than the uh the books than, the, than their actual comic books. As you can see, there's a little bit of, uh, they have like a little bit of nudity um, in these books. Um, women are drawn a little bit differently. Because uh, these, these magazines, they were printed in uh, black and white, um, but they, uh, well, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, the, these magazines were print, printed in black and white, uh, but I'm pretty sure they were not a uh, subject to any of the uh, censorship of the Comics Code Authority. So I think that's why they uh, printed them in this kind of format. But uh, this isn't an omnibus of just those. You also have um, their actual, let's see here, their actual comics that are in color. See here, uh, these are a little bit more tame compared to their magazines, um, just because they did have, uh, they did have censorship with the uh with the comics code authority as you can see there but overall their 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 comics were also uh, a great read for horror and the thing i like about marvel's horror comics is they did a fabulous fabulous job of bringing together two genres so as we know um 
Marvel is known for their superhero comics. But in the 1970s, they introduced many different heroes that kind of tread that line between superhero and horror character very, very nicely. And they were able to kind of uh, bring those two genres together. Uh, Moon Knight is a, is a great example. Uh, first introduced in a, in a horror book, uh, but by today's standards could also be considered a superhero. So um, this is just a really nice collection. I'm really happy. Uh, the, um, the Omnibus editor did a great job picking stories for this book. I have not read it in its entirety yet. I've, I've read some yarns, obviously. It's like almost, an almost 1500 page book. So it's gonna take me a while to get through all this, but um, very, very excited to have this in my collection. And uh, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces just based on the fact that uh, I'm a huge, huge horror fan. Look, we even have Hulk in here. So it's just a nice, a nice variety, a nice assortment of, of different horror stories, horror characters. Um, and, you know, if you're a fan of just superheroes, superheroes make, a, make many appearances. In this book as well so it's not just uh just the scaries right so uh that's why i absolutely love love um this this collected edition so at the end of the day is it worth it to add this to your collection well let's i i, I already kind of answered that in the beginning but here's a more in-depth answer i've said this before about omnibuses i think omnibuses in general are just a really a really great value for the money because a lot of these books, or sorry, a lot of these uh, these stories and these comics, they aren't really reprinted, like especially these horror ones, they're not really reprinted into trade paperbacks that often, and that is especially true of these these horror books. Uh, superhero books, they're more, they're printed more in, uh, in trade paperback form, uh, more, more frequently, but these horror ones are, um, are not. So, if you wanted to have some of these stories in your collection, you're going to have to pick up the individual issues and the individual issues, to pick up all these individual issues would cost you a heck of a lot more than 150 US or 190 Canadian. So I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. And um, these omnibuses in general, if you're, if you're wondering, if you're one that wants to know about the collectability of certain uh, items in your collection, these are actually quite collectible. You have to understand that these uh, these omnibuses, uh, they only have a limited print run. And uh, once the print run ends, uh, the desire and the demand for these actually goes up and the prices sometimes, in some cases, will even triple. So I really hope that uh, this is still in print. I think this is a first edition. Um, let me just kind of take a look here so this is this is a first edition uh, and these do go through uh, other these do go through other printings as well but we never know when those new printings are coming so definitely pick these up while you can uh, again very collectible but also a lot of bang for your buck so I'd love to hear from you all in the comments. Are you interested in this type of content? Do you love horror? Would you like to have something like this in your collection? Um, do you have this in your collection? Let me know. Uh, always love hearing from you in the comments. So uh, just to remind you all, if you are interested in picking this up, I will provide a link in the description. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.